Ornum Trainiacs. It's 6.40 in the a.m. on a Sunday morning, and I have already done a day's worth of work. Now it's time to work out. Daylight savings time is kicking my little Canadian butt, and not in the way you'd expect. See, daylight savings time in the fall for us Winnipeggers is fall back spring forward fall back so last night the clocks rolled back an hour so we theoretically got an extra hour of sleep i woke up at 2 a.m normally your boy is a pretty good sleeper but i went to sleep at 9 p.m last night because ntk was on a girl's shopping trip down in the states so Started reading some Harry Potter at 7.30, drew myself a lovely Epsom salt bath, and I had a nice quiet night, fell asleep at nine. What's wrong with that? I'll tell you what's wrong with it, how I'm gonna feel later this afternoon when everyone's up and at them, and I've been up for an entire day. So, today, we are going to actually talk about the three biggest hacks that I use to get good night's sleep after I do a run and a swim. That's right, hopefully the back feels good enough to run again. Easy 5K run, focusing on keeping my heart rate under 140 and cadence over 170. Recovery, fast feet, good form development. Now, we swim. Well, it wasn't the 3K I was hoping for. 2100 meters got kicked out by the salamander kids. Kids think they're so cool. All right, sleep. Considering how poorly I slept last night, I feel like, hello, Kettle? This is Taryn. <laughs> Just a regular jokester today. So, I'll save you all the benefits of like why sleep is so important, but I'll give you just the big highlights of the what kind of sleep is important. Well, you need quality sleep. This means that there are three sleep cycles. There is deep, you need about an hour and a half of this. There is light sleep, there is REM sleep. REM sleep, you have at the end of your sleep, that's your dreaming. Deep sleep is when we repair our body. REM sleep is literally where our brain puts all the things that happened from the day into place so that our memory is really good, our brain can function really well, and our brain literally filters out accumulated junk throughout the day, which if you don't get rid of it, you can develop Alzheimer's. And that REM sleep happens way at the end of your sleep. That's why it's important to get seven to eight hours. And there are a lot of people that are like, no, 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 Taryn, I'm fine on about five or six. Well, statistically speaking, the amount of people that can actually get by physically and mentally and not have it affect them later in life or with their performance is roughly about 1% of the population. The amount of people that think they can get by on that is somewhere around 30% of the population. So odds are pretty good that if you think you're in that camp, you're not. So the first hack that I find helps is these two things. Valerian tea, however, you don't want to use this every single night. So I intermix it with Four Sigmatic Rishi mushroom tea. Go to foursigmatic.com forward slash triathlon Terran. Use the coupon code triathlon Terran for 15% off. Both of these you can become dependent on, you can develop a tolerance for, and all of a sudden then it doesn't work anymore. So I use them sparingly. 
This is a melatonin supplement that I'm trying out. Melatonin is what gets released right at the start of your sleep cycle, basically when you start powering down. If you start supplementing with melatonin and you continuously supplement with it, your melatonin receptors, natural or like unnatural, supplemented, can basically be turned off. So be very, very careful if not like totally avoid melatonin because it can do a lot of harm. Next thing, your body temperature is a really big driver of how sleepy or alert you feel. When you're really warm, you feel alert. Think about middle of a workout when your body temperature is warm, you're very alert. Middle of the afternoon, when we start getting that afternoon lull, your body temperature is dropping, hence the English having afternoon tea. That's a little pick me up because it warms them up. When you start going to sleep, in a perfect world, you can set your thermostat to start going lower and then get lower throughout the night. So I've heard of some people setting their thermostat so that let's do it in Celsius. It starts at 19 degrees at bedtime, goes down to 18, goes down to 17, goes all the way down to 16 by the middle of the night. And basically when they wake up, starts bringing it back up. In Fahrenheit, let's go with goes from 68 down to 64, down to 62, down to about 59. And this will help you stay asleep because your body temperature is going to be cooler. Or, or we're gonna try to test this out, but I've heard that a chili pad can actually help you out because if you're like NTK and behind the camera, you like it warm, which most women do, but men actually need it quite a bit cooler. So you can have this chili pad that keeps one side of the bed cool and we wanna try that out. Final thing, and this is probably the biggest, about an hour before you intend on going to sleep, put the phone away and keep it out of the bedroom and read some fiction. I've been crushing Harry Potter. Why fiction? It gets you in the mindset of storytelling. Think about back when we had evolved and you would sit around the campfire and all the elders would tell stories. That's what fiction is like. Whereas business books, it gets you in an analytical mindset. The reason that we keep the phone out of the bedroom is because A, blue light, it simulates light. So our melatonin isn't getting produced as long as we're staring at that blue light because it's just kind of like natural light. And as we are on social media, we are in hunting mode, which is a daytime activity. So we're looking for the next post, looking for the next video. By the way, go and watch all the triathlon Terran videos, just not late at night. Use work hours, that's a productive time. So your phone might A, keep you awake, but B, even if you think that you are getting a full eight hours sleep, you're actually going to not be able to get all of the sleep cycles. So you might get your eight hours sleep, but you're going to be missing out on either deep sleep, repairing your body, or REM sleep, avoiding Alzheimer's and functioning well cognitively. So good, I'm just about to finish it. So there you go, Trainiacs. Do as I say, not as I do. Most of the time, I get a very good night's sleep. Go and get yourself at least seven hours of sleep, really good quality sleep. Get your deep sleep, get your REM sleep, and if you aren't yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button below because odds are really good that we are going to be talking more about sleep because I got this Aura sleep tracker and all of a sudden I can add some really good quantitative data to all this sleep talk. Right, Pete? Right, Pete? You wanna show him your bed? Oh, shy. I sleep here, that's Pete's bed. Later, Trainiacs.